We're out here at Call Lake today. We're sampling for blue catfish. Uh, we do this every couple of years to monitor population growth and make sure that, that people are able to still have satisfying blue catfish in here at Call Lake, one of the best uh, blue cat fisheries in Oklahoma. Lots of fish, some shad, and a bunch of blue cat. If I had to make a professional decision, I would say they're blue cat. We can't be sure, they could be gar, but I think they're blue cat. Oh, all out in front of you, man. Still out right there, some bigger ones. To your right. Jeez. Freaking nuts. God. Dude. Ah, okay. No. Yeah. Fisheries work gets tough. A lot of times you set a net and you don't catch very many at all. And then sometimes you set a net and there's so many fish that they fill every spot. That's the same thing with shocking. You get a guy with a net and 150 come up, you're only gonna get as many as the, the, the guy can catch. So. That's good to see. We started out early this morning, went out and uh, started pulling up some really good fish. Had uh, quite a few, quite a few sites that we've had good success and, and continued. We brought them back here at the workup area where we take length, weight, and we collect otoliths for age data. That'll help us determine growth of the population over time. And we can make sure that the fish are growing at a good rate so that anglers are satisfied by the size of of the fish that they catch. Six oh four twenty four seventy. Four fourteen. Alright. So this is an otolith. <laughs> That's how we age fish. We'll mount that in epoxy, section it, look at it underneath a microscope and count the rings, just like you would tree rings. Blue cat electrofishing is different than normal electrofishing. These fish can come up hundreds of yards away from our actual shock boat. So in order to be able to sample of these effectively, we have multiple chase boats running around catching these fish. Um, the actual electrofishing boat cannot go very fast or else the electricity does breaks it and we end up losing fish. But with this chaos going on, we have to make sure that safety is, is a foremost important, that boats don't collide. People are yelling, shouting, pointing where fish are, because as soon as one comes up, you want to be sure to get it before he ends up going down. We've been monitoring uh, Caw Lake's catfish population for a few decades now since the lake's been impounded. In recent years, we started looking at evaluating our one over 30 inch length limit that we had. We had some initial research that was conducted in 2017 and 2018 that we've released, wanting to continue looking at that to see if it changes. Since these are long lived fish, it takes a long time to be able to see changes since some of these fish can be over 30 years. Monitoring these blue catfish, we are able to better determine if regulations that we have in place are being effective, and if not, do we need to adjust and make them where they're more effective. Currently, blue catfish regulations are really trying to target at having as many fish over 30 inches stay in the population so that more anglers have opportunity to catch those. That's the one fish over 30 inches a day. If we see deviations where we're not getting those fish up there, we may have to adjust a little bit so that we are meeting the goals of the anglers and uh, the fish biologists that are uh, representing them. Currently, everything's looking just fine. It's still early on since it's been only 
you know, just over 10 years since we made this. Again, these fish are long lived. It takes long periods of time to see changes. But right now, we are not seeing anything that suggests that we need to make any difference. Um, we still have a lot of fish. There's a lot of opportunity with our 15 fish bag limit for blue catfish and channel catfish combined. There's still a lot of opportunity to catch a lot of fish under 30 inches each day. And if you do have that awesome fish over 30 inches, you're able to keep one a day too.